After a long winter, spring has sprung in Brooklyn. Every year, the Brooklyn Brownstone Garden District hosts a garden tour. This year, the group is going gorilla. You heard about the seed bombs? That's what these are. You just throw them somewhere and hope that they'll grow? They will grow. These are full of wildflower seeds. By building on the original vision of opening up the secret gardens behind the storied brownstones, the group has appropriated the gorilla gardener ideas. The seed bombs inspired by New York's green gorillas are just one of the new edgy ideas the group is taking on. They also encourage green graffiti. And you can paint on the wall or you can put it through a stencil. And you just spritz it for a few days and it starts and this year's tour features live moss artist Edna Taduki, whose live moss pieces have been seen throughout Brooklyn in urban settings. Taduki will be creating original pieces that will be staged at each of the houses on the tour. The one thing that we do have from years of doing the tour is that we know longtime gardeners in this neighborhood and the people who started this long before it was trendy, people who really had a commitment and a passion for gardening. Civic enthusiast Mary Cole was the visionary behind the Brownstone Garden Tours. I just kept thinking that we have more greenery than any other historic district in Brooklyn. So my friend Tom Veltry, who works for the Bronx Zoo, happened to be on a blimp and he confirmed that he thought from that view there were more green spaces if you added up the um, green space in Fort Greene Park and in Pratt Institute and at the Botanic Garden and the fact that uh, the Clinton Hill Gardens have bigger front yards and bigger backyards than most of the other brownstone areas. After noticing that her friends didn't want to come to her side of the tracks, she was inspired to call upon her longtime passion in gardening as a way to transform the neighborhood. The results were apparent right away. That next year, instead of crack files in my tree pit, there were flowers and a little girl went by and she said, look, mommy, there's a flower. The group's goals go beyond the celebration of the seclusionary private garden. Each year they hand out thousands of bulbs and do whatever they can to support any green movements in the neighborhood. Gardeners are innate environmentalists. Uh, they are absolutely wonderful for everything. They are, they are um, potassium and uh, they make everything grow wonderfully. This year's tour centers on Fort Greene neighborhoods gardens, and the gardeners will be present to give out helpful gardening advice to anybody who comes on the tour. Someone who goes on the Brownstone Brooklyn Garden District walking tour on June 14th will be amazed to find the variety of gardens that are behind these brownstones. I think everybody who walks around this neighborhood wonders what's in the back. So this is an opportunity to see some of these amazing back gardens and the variety is incredible. I believe that gardening really makes one happy, really, really happy.